us, our Monday is a huge game plan day. It's kind of our day, which is probably a lot for you, a lot like what your Sundays may or may not be like. We don't meet with our players, but it's our day as coaches to get in there and game plan. And here's really how it goes for us on the offensive side of the football is offensively, we'll, we'll meet together at 9 o'clock and we'll start by formation. We'll start with 10 personnel and we'll start out 2 by 2 3 by one and empty. We'll watch the, we'll watch the cut-ups. We take first and second down within the cut-ups. We remove third down, we remove goal line, and we remove, remove red zone. Those are on separate cut-ups, and we'll, we'll just watch really from about the 10-yard line to the opposite 25 first and second down calls within those cut-ups. We'll watch them as an entire staff, but again, somebody's responsible for that. Here's what I like, here's what I think works. We'll talk about it, we'll discuss it. And we'll go through every one of those formations and really kind of come up by the end of the day with this, which essentially becomes our game plan. If you walked into our offensive room, we've got these kind of game plan, which essentially is set up this way. But you can kind of see mix and match a little bit of tempo. And Coach Manning will probably talk a little bit about our tempo a little bit later on. But the reality of it is, is we're going to set up what plays we like, where we see it liking, and we have a good idea by Sunday as we leave what fits. Are we an outside zone team this week? Are we an inside zone team? Okay. Uh, what, what's, our, what's our answers? What gives us, and obviously, what's football become? Football's become, I don't care if it's a professional level, the collegiate level, or the high school level, it's a matchup game. What gives us, and if you've heard me talk, I'm going to say it a million times, that it's players, formations, plays. What gives us, what players, how, who are our players, what gives our players the best opportunity to be successful? What formations do we want to give in to create those matchups? And obviously then what plays do we want to run in the game? And so the reality for us is we leave there, we go through each one of these as an entire staff, and then we leave there that night having a really good foundation to what we want to do about 80% of the football game, first and second down. Who are we? What do we want to do? And what do we want to have, have accomplished? The other piece for us, okay, that, that becomes really big, and this, again, is our call sheet, and I'll give you that. You can have that, if, again, presentation-wise, but we begin to also, what concepts, and you can kind of see, here's our concepts, play action, base runs, okay, that we're going to carry in and have an idea as we kind of we kind of weed through Monday what's too much. I think that's the one thing offensively that we all become a natural habit of we we have so many ideas that we get too much, but we put it up there so we kind of have a good idea what sound, what are we doing, what becomes too much. So not only are we putting it up under by formation, we're also putting it up by concept. So we have a great, great idea by the time we leave there, what are we going to practice, how are we going to practice, and what fits for us. 